Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about things that scared me as a child. And just a warning before we begin, yes, these things are very weird, and things that like people usually are not afraid of, but I was a weird child. So, we're going to bear with it. The first thing we have is the MGM trademark. You know, just think about it though, like, I was sitting there as a child, trying to watch some TV, enjoy myself, and I just see a fade-in of a lion in my face. I don't think any, like, five-year-old wants that. The next one that I am including, if you've been following me, even recently I talked about it, I think everyone knows this by now. Um. This has scared the living daylights out of me since I was very little. So, I have to include it on the list, but it's not really one of those things that a kid should be afraid of because it's literally for a kid. Binya Binya, the Pollywog from Gulla Gulla Island. Just the, the voice, the eyes bugging out at you. I don't feel comfortable right now, and I don't know how other people do. I mean, I respect your opinions, but when it comes to this dude, I'm out. The third one is the Little Airplane Productions outro. Little Airplane. Now, I have I have a few things to say about this one. First of all, why were they like, okay, let's let's get a little girl to run on a bridge and chase a butterfly but realistically why is she by herself like obviously it's fake but why is she by herself like why did they decide to do that what was the purpose of it and the trees in the background are just very eerie to me there's just nothing but trees like where does it lead to like where did she come from that's what i want to know this next one is another weird one. This one is the Sony Wonder intro. This one, I honestly don't have a lot to say about it. Just the music kind of throws me off. And like the clouds in the background with it are just like... I don't know, does anybody understand? Does anybody get me? I just... I can't. Okay, now I'm going to be talking about the Law and & Order intro. This one again is kind of just more of the music. Like, the actual things that are happening in the intro didn't really scare me. And honestly, like, when I was a kid, I never really saw the intro. It was more like I heard it from the other room type of thing, because my parents would watch it, like, when I was going to bed. This one is actually really creepy because I don't know why they decided to do this or what the point of it was. But the next one is the Klasky Kusoko. Kus Klasky Kusipo. I don't- I still don't know if I said that right, but it was a better attempt than before. What are- What is that smile? And what are the eyes? I don't know, and the way it moves, like- Again, this one's kind of self-explanatory. But I still get the creeps from this one. <laughs> This one is just some random old Nickelodeon bumper, but just watch. I don't like that she's whispering, but like also singing at the same time, and then she's just like, Nick is kids. Like, what? Why? No. And just some of the claymations and the fact that they're floating on chairs randomly, like what is that? The next one is another stupid one because, again, it is made for children. 
I was terrified of the beginning scene of Monsters, Inc. I simply don't know why, because now it's one of my favorite Disney movies, but I could not watch this for about eight years. I don't think I watched the first Monsters, Inc. until Monsters University came out, because my mom was like, well, you have to see the first one before you see the second one, because I just, I couldn't watch it. Another stupid one. The next one is a 90s Nickelodeon alarm clock. Three, two, one. Let me just say, hearing the Nickelodeon theme song, I guess you could say, first thing in the morning, I don't know. It wasn't fun for me. I was horrified. Like it went off and I literally started crying. And I ended up getting it because my aunt had one from when she was younger and she gave it to me. And I tried it and I woke up like crying. Like, I don't know why it scared me, but it did. Cause everything scares me, as you could tell in this video. My commentary on the next one is pretty funny because I uploaded this a while ago but I deleted it because I need more like original stuff on my channel so I just decided to add voiceovers to this but the next one is the Windows XP sound and that is all that needs to be said the next one is a Nick Jr. bumper and they used to show it at the end of like Goa Goa Island! Oh my god, that made the show even worse. Maybe that's why I'm afraid of this. Maybe it's like my brain like connects this to Goa Goa Island and that's why I'm afraid of it. But again, I think it's another thing with like music. This one still terrifies me to this day. The little baby's ice cream commercial. I don't have much to say about this one either, but I would like to know how long this took to clean up after. Clean and clear. I eat little baby's ice cream. It keeps me young. Little baby's ice cream. This one, I think, is one we could actually all agree on. This is the THX logo. This last one is a disappointing one. This is another Nick Jr. bumper. Why is Nickelodeon so scary to me? <laughs> but with this one, I again, the music and the faint laughing along with it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, I would like to know which, if any of these, have scared you at all, because this is an interesting list. So maybe you don't agree, but there has to be at least one that maybe scared you. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!